to all the geeks and nerds out there, welcome to a brand new series on the channel. This series is called Simply Minecraft. Why is it called that? That's because we are going to focus on the simplest way to do things in the game. Things are nice and easy in survival and uh, things that are more approachable for more casual players. So if you're new to new to the game or you don't have that much time to play, here, here we're going to have a bunch of designs uh, for things you can do nice and easily and quickly in survival. And today we're going to be looking at an infinite villager breeder, which is right here. Now, it may look simple, there's not many blocks to it, but it's actually got quite a lot of features. We can breed villagers infinitely, we can turn the farm on and off, we can also sort the babies from the adults, and it even has a pickup system so you can take the grown up adults off to wherever you need them, to your iron farm or to your villager trading hall. All right, so let me show you how this thing works. So this is the Simply Minecraft world. We're going to be building everything in this series in this very world. And as you can see here, the villagers are actually breeding. There are hearts, so that means they are in love. And uh, any moment now, a baby will appear. And what that baby is going to do, it's going to try and jump on these beds because kids, you know, they like beds. And what he's going to try and do is going to try and run across here in any minute and he'll drop into the water stream underneath. And then when he does that, the water stream will take him over here where all these other babies are. So if we just hang around here and look at this baby, there he goes. He drum runs off and runs over there. Yeah, so he's trying to get to these beds over here there's a couple of trap doors here which we'll talk about in a bit and he thinks he can run across it and that means he'll fall down there and what happens down here is that we have these babies in this water stream they're standing on this cobble wall which is actually a little bit high you see they're, they're kind of floating up above the cobble wall the cobble wall is actually a block and a half tall so they kind of stand on top of that and even if they jump they can't get into this water stream above them when they turn into adults they're of course they are then bigger they're two blocks tall so the head goes into the water they then swim up the water and end up over here with the water stream taking them right into this corner ready for them to be picked up by this uh, by this pickup system here so here we have um, we have a, a dispenser here that's got a bunch of minecarts in it if we press a button just over here it will go up take our villager and then we can send him off to wherever we need him so over here we have uh, the breeding pair and all we've got here we've got a nine by nine area of dirt that we've planted with uh, carrots you can use either carrots or potatoes uh, we've got a water source in the center and then we've got a composter here so one of these uh, villagers takes the profession of the farmer because of the, the workstation right here he'll go around and pick up all the all of the carrots and replant them he'll also share them with his friend over here and then when it gets to the right time of day they will breed and as you saw earlier the baby goes across there into the system now the the, the way to turn this farm on and off uh, because this thing will run infinitely and keep producing uh, villagers you can end up with quite a lot of villagers here if you just leave it running and it's probably good to turn this off once you've got enough villagers just do that <laughs> so you just have to block block the, uh, the, the the path over here so if we do that if this block is here then these villagers don't think they can get to these beds and they won't and they will stop breeding so that's how the farm all works so we're going to go into a block by block tutorial and as we do I'll talk about each area of the farm uh, in a bit more detail First things first, here is a list of all the materials you need to build this infinite villager breeder. One thing to note is that here I've got a lot of glass. Now you don't need to use glass, you can use any building block at all for this. Uh, I've only used glass here just so we can see inside the farm as I talk about it. But yeah, you can, build, you can do this with stone or cobble or whatever else you need, uh, no problem at all. And of course it could be a mixture of different blocks. So uh, you need uh, around six stacks of building blocks. Apart from that, everything else is here laid down. So I'll just scroll down this, this list. You can pause the video if you want to uh, note down all of these items, not too many at all. All right, let's get into the block by block tutorial. A quick reminder before we do the block by block tutorial that everything on this channel, including this series, is all in Java edition and we're currently in 1.16.2. So if you're in that version, then everything should be good. If you're on bedrock, then this stuff may not work. The first thing to do is to create a nine by nine area of dirt, just like I've done here. And then we need to find the middle point. So we need to count in five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then five in from here. So one, two, three, four, five. That's your center block. So knock that out. And inside here, you can put any stair or any slab and then get yourself some water in a bucket and waterlog this block just like that. Then you get your building block of choice and make a, a two high wall all the way around the edge, just like this. Next up, get your composter and put it on top of this water source block. So it's easy if you've got a stair, just place it on top like that. If you use a bottom slab here, then what you can do is put a temporary block next to it and then place your composter on that block and then remove it. The next thing to do is to add a block on top of the composter there and then put a torch on top of that. So this block is here to stop the villagers jumping up on top of this composter and then getting stuck inside it. Or if they jump off again, they might trample the crops. So that uh, that helps on that front. Then get a torch and put them in each of the corners just like this. And 
that will uh, ensure that all of the crops have enough light level so they can all grow. Then find a center point of one of your walls, uh, whichever wall you want the, uh, the villagers to come out of, and then break out those two blocks just like that. Then you can get your trapdoors, put one here on this uh, on this dirt and then uh, open it like that. Then get a temporary block and place it here and then put another, another trapdoor on top of that and then close it up and then get rid of your temporary blocks just like that. Now is a good time to get our breeding villagers into place. So all I've done here is I've got two villagers in some boats. I've taken them from the village over there and brought them close to our to our breeder over here. And uh, sometimes it's hard to get these villagers exactly where you want them, but there's a little trick you can use. So here I've put two beds inside uh, the breeding area just temporarily. We'll remove them shortly. And we've got the two villagers down here with a pathway that they can go up there. So what we can do now is we can remove, uh, we can remove the boats just like this. And then we can uh, remove this path, this path block here, so they can find their way up to those beds. Now, when it becomes nighttime, uh, the villagers will try and find a bed that they can pathfind to, and they should walk up there and get into bed. In fact, this guy's going already. So this guy was in fact attracted to the workstation. So he's become a farmer. He's the guy that's going to be uh, getting the carrots for us, and the other guy is still down there waiting. But uh, as the sun goes down, he should hop into bed. And here they go, the sun is setting and they are walking up the stairs and they should get into these two beds just like that. There we go, awesome, so they're now in place. Then we can get our block of choice and fill in this block around here and then all of this temporary stuff here we use to get the villagers up, we can remove all of that now, no problem at all. So with that all gone, we can now get our hoe and we can till all of this land, all of these uh, all of these dirt blocks uh, all the way around and then get your carrots and uh, plant as many carrots as you've got. It doesn't matter if you uh, don't have enough carrots to fill the whole land because uh, these far this farmer villager will start picking these and replanting them for you uh, as long as all of this land is tilled with your hoe. Of course, with these villagers in bed, they are now in the way now that I've tilled and uh, planted all the crops. So I'm going to have to break the bed for this guy and also for this guy. And then we can till this land while they're here and yeah, plant these carrots. With our breathing villagers safely in place, we can now continue the rest of the build. So come round here to uh, where you added our trapdoors previously. And now I'm going to use, I'm going to use a different type of block here just so it's easier to see, but you can use any block you like here. So what we do now is we come down from our wall and place five blocks down. So one, two, three, four, five and then three blocks next to that, one, two, three, and then two blocks on this dirt here underneath the trapdoor, one, two. So we have that kind of shape like that. Then we can come underneath here and then put a temporary block here with a block next to it. We can get rid of that if you like. And now we need to have six blocks that go across here. So we've got one there and we've got two, three, four, five, six. So now for this, uh, for this bit here, we need to have a wall three high. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three one two three and then do the same thing on the other side over here next up come to the end of this track right here and place a cobble wall then you can put a temporary block on top of that and then place two blocks next to it like that and then get rid of your temporary block then here on this block here we can add another wall up here four high so one two three four and again the same on the other side one two three four like that then over here we can add a block right here here and here and then get a trap door and place that on this block right here and make sure it's open just like that then go over to this side and then we need to get a couple of signs so put one side sign on here and then go around and put another sign on this block right here just like that then we get another block and place it on top of this sign over here over at the front, we're now going to create the area for our adult villagers once they've grown up. So now we need to create a platform here that's, that is three by five. So we've got one block here already. So we can go one, two over here to make three that way. And then we just go five this way. So we've got one already. So one, two, three, four, five. So fill all of this in just like this. And then make sure you've got a two high wall all the way around this. So we've got two here like this all the way around just like this. Once that's done, we can now add some water into our system. So first of all, the first water source you can add if you go down to uh, to here where we've got the uh, two trapdoors, put a water just here with the water bucket and then come on over to your, your area here where the, the adult village are going to be and place your water source right here on this block just above this sign right here, just like that. And then this water should flow from here and it should go all the way here and uh, all the current should lead all the villages into this area right here. Next, get yourself four beds and place them down here on these blocks with the pillow end uh, towards the villagers. So one here, here and here, and then another bed here just like that. 
We're almost done and as you can see we have a baby villager already in the system so let's finish this thing off. So next up let's look at the on and off switch. So uh, what we need to do now is get a sticky piston and place it next to this block here and then behind it get yourself a, a lever and place it behind the sticky piston. So to turn it on and off you just have to flip it like that so that block is there that turns it off and then if you open it up again it turns it back on. Now in the early game sometimes it might be hard to get yourself a slime ball for this piston so you don't need to have that you can just get a block and place it here manually that will turn the farm off and then removing that block will turn it back on again. All right, so let's talk about the uh, pickup system for the villagers now. So I did say that you can use any block to build this, but I would recommend that this block right here should be a glass block or some kind of transparent block. That's because when the villagers come out on the minecart, if this is uh, if this is a solid block, then they will take a little bit of damage. So probably make this one a, a glass block like I've got here. So to do the pickup system, we need to get ourselves a dispenser, not a dropper, a dispenser, and place it under this block right here, just like that. Then get yourself some minecarts and put them inside this dispenser as many as you have and then get yourself a button either a stone or a wooden button and place it on the dispenser just like that then get some more blocks you can put a temporary block underneath the dispenser and then put two next to it and then we can get rid of that one we don't need that there and then get another block up here like that and then one more like that and then we can have a few more blocks over here and then put a block on top just to stop the villager. Now that would obviously go off into whatever system uh, you want them to go to. Now we get uh, two powered rails, one here and one here. Then get some normal rails here, here, here and here. Now that should be all we need. A couple of things to mention before we finish up. First of all, this villager breeder will produce two villagers every Minecraft day. Uh, if you want more than that, then you'd have to expand this and have more beds and more breeding pairs. Um, but that's something you could do if you need more villagers. But I think that's probably enough for most for most casual players. Uh, the second thing is that uh, you need to be careful of lightning strikes if you build this out in the open like I've done here. So you might want to build this underground in, in your base with a roof, that kind of thing. Uh, but if you do build it out in the open, you need to do something that I've done here, which is to add a roof above all of the places where the villages might be and this needs to be at least three blocks away from this wall so I've got one two three blocks here and then the roof on top so make sure you do that to protect your villagers from lightning strikes because if they get struck by lightning they will turn into a witch and that is not good news so you should try and avoid that if you can Another thing to mention is to make sure that mobs can't get into this system, especially zombies. We don't want uh, zombies getting in here because if they do, they will either kill your villagers or they will convert them into zombie villagers and we don't want that. I mean, I'm using glass here, so that's non-spawnable, but uh, if you do use other blocks, make sure you're, you're, you've lit up the system or you've put a roof on this place so uh, so mobs can't get in. They won't, they won't spawn on top of farmland, that's no problem, uh, but other blocks you use here, uh, mobs may well spawn on. So there we have it, a nice and easy infinite villager breeder for Java edition 1.16. Now I'd be very interested to hear what you think about this format and this series, and also if there's something in particular you'd like me to cover, a nice and easy design for something for, for, your, for your survival world, then let me know in the comments and I can add that to my list of things that I want to add uh, in this series. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then please hit the like button, and if you're new, then feel free to subscribe, and if you've got any comments or suggestions, then get in that comment section. All right my geeks, until next time, I will see See you later.